Hello, all. We're doing this again. Yesterday, I'm getting my hair done again. Another transformation. Um, this one has been a long time coming. Please bear with me. It's a little bit early right now. I did not sleep good last night at all. My brain is... So as you guys know, over the past year and a half or so, I've had many different hair colors. I had hot pink, pastel pink, and then I cut it all off and had natural blonde, and then I cut it shorter, went platinum blonde, then a lot of it broke off, um, got super, super damaged, and I continued to dye it. I dyed it dark purple, which faded to silver, and then I dyed it myself, this pink color, which I filmed, it's on my channel. And then I did a beautiful turquoise blue, I really love to the blue which is the last thing I did I got done three months ago clearly it's faded my hair's blonde again so as you can see my roots are pretty grown out I have been wanting I've been planning on like going somewhat natural for a few months now I wanted to do one more cool color and then I was like then we're gonna settle down and get my hair back to health because she's still a little messed up it's like down to here where my hair's healthy and then like my ends are just pretty fried which kind of sucks but the only way to get rid of them is to keep growing my hair out and cut it off and I could keep bleaching my roots if I wanted to it doesn't really affect the ends of my hair I actually had so much breakage over the summer I was super insecure about my hair didn't really talk about it because why would I I don't know if you can tell but like there's all these short pieces in the front where like they just completely broke off but they've grown out enough at this point to look okay I'm actually really happy with how my hair looks right now I actually really like the color it is right now too but I can't just keep letting my roots grow out like this it's gonna start to look really gross so today what we're doing is is basically just kind of bringing my roots down but keeping it light in the front and keeping the ends somewhat light so basically just bringing more of my natural color to my hair which is weird because I have not been my natural color since I was in like fifth or sixth grade I don't even know what the title of this video is gonna be because I'm not going completely my natural color but I'm going a somewhat natural color the most natural that I've been in like a year and a half or actually like several years because I didn't really think the black looked all that natural it's like several shades darker than my natural hair clearly um it's 10 o'clock which isn't that early but when you didn't sleep like hardly at all it's pretty early um and my stomach hurts to take Imodium or to not take Imodium. My mom's here, so it's time to go. My hair place is about an hour away. If you've watched my hair videos before, you'd know I absolutely love the guy who does my hair. His name's Lynn. You guys will all see him, but he's literally a hair god. Like, actually, if you go look on his Instagram, you'll see that. He's given me every hair color I've wanted. Even though my hair is super damaged and continues to just fall out, he somehow continues to make it look amazing. So I honestly trust whatever he wants to do today. I think anything he does will turn out good. Just for reference, here are some pictures that I have saved to my phone. I don't think it's gonna come out looking exactly like this. Oh, I forgot to mention. We also got clip-in extensions because I like clip-in extensions. It's like having long hair temporarily. I just thought it'd be fun. I thought it would add to the transformation, you know, whatever. Let's go. I'm gonna be late. <laughs> we are here at my hair salon and we're gonna go in. Are you excited? Oh, so excited. Yay. I want to close my eyes and go back, play it in my mind. A movie of us two, yeah, we were happy at the time. Can't remember what it felt like, we used to be so strong. That picture perfect sky now and looks so great and cold. We've been playing here since 4 a.m. and you. Okay, guys. So we put a color on my root area to fill it so that when we put the root color on, it doesn't look super disgusting and gross because we're putting on top of blonde and you have to add some golden back in. And then we have to put another color on top of this after we wash it off. I'm not alarmed. It's so good to see it out loud. Hi, you'll be in my video. This is Chelsea. She's my new friend. We're the same age. Oh, we have the same birthday. That's really weird. <laughs> so cool. Yeah, really cool. If it's over, do you remember when we went to Paris in July? Got stuck out in the rain, but we danced around and didn't mind it. So young and reckless, baby, you and I fit just like a glove. But I guess that's over now. Oh my god. Wait. So 
my hair looks like dry. Now we're gonna add some little highlights or whatever to blend it better. Haven't said a word to me. Silent treatment. This is what it feels like when your heart is shaking when it bleeds. If it's over, just say it out loud. Say those words, go and just shout it out. Just be honest, be a man right now. Say it's over. If it's over. Holy crap! Look at my freaking hair. I feel like it's very different, but it's very different. like a lot of people are gonna think that it's not that big of a change. But to me it is. Whose head is that? Look at all that darkness. Oh my god, this is the most of my natural hair color I've ever had in my hair since like fifth grade. Oh my god, I'm so used to leaving here with like blue hair, pink hair, purple hair. Anyways, I'll see you guys at home because we have an hour drive. It looks so good. It looks healthier. The word what? what? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what that was. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Oh wow, look at that. I'm a TikTok e-boy. Hi guys, it's the next day. I wanted to come and show you my hair, what it looks like in daylight because we finished after the sunset yesterday so you don't really get to see like what it looks like. I don't know. I really, really like it. It's giving me very much late 90s, early 2000s vibes, which is what a lot of people also said because I posted Instagram photos. It's very strange to have this much of like my natural color. I know it's not really my natural color because he dyed it, but like it's the color that my natural hair is. So like, I don't know if you guys will think it's that different, but for me, it's a big change. The main reason I wanted to dye my hair natural was to get it healthy, but also because, sorry, I can't stop flipping it just because it looks so good. <laughs> sorry, I'm so obsessed with myself. 2019 for me, like the most exciting thing I did in 2019 was literally dye my hair like 10 million different colors because I could and I had complete control over it. So if I wanted to go pink, I could go pink. If I wanted to go blue, I could go blue. And that was fun, but I want to stop taking out my my boredom on my hair. I get bored so easily, like too easily, because I would get so bored all the time. I would just change my hair to try to keep things fun, which there's nothing wrong with that. But also I feel like because I took my boredom out on that, it prevented me from actually doing fun things. So my goal for 2020 is to stop taking my boredom out on my hair, AKA leaving it somewhat natural. Who knows how long this will last? I guess we'll find out. <laughs> I cannot predict my decisions. My mind changes literally every five minutes. I want 2020 for me to be the year that I start doing like fun, exciting things. I want some fun in my life. So I know this is kind of ridiculous to say because it's literally just hair and like whatever. <sighs> this is how my brain works. Oh, also said in the beginning that we were gonna put extensions in and I brought extensions, but they were taking too long to dye. My hair was already done. So Lynn, my hairstylist was like, you guys can just go instead of like waiting around and we can ship you the extensions. I feel like people are gonna get mad at me because this isn't like a real hair transformation, but for me it is, okay? Like when I look in the mirror, I don't feel like myself. If I change my hair within the next six months, there's something wrong with me. Well, there already is something wrong with me, but eh. I can't stop looking at myself in the mirror. Um, why did I have an accent when I said that, when I wasn't even trying? Who am I trying to be? <laughs> So guys, if you don't like it, please keep your comments to yourself. That's okay. You don't have to like it. Just please don't let me know because negativity is not welcome here. Bye. This will probably be my last hair transformation video for a while. Hopefully. <laughs> Thank you guys for once again tuning in to my crazy hair journey. I love you. Bye.